Yo, what it is everybody, thanks for tuning back in here to another episode here on the Speedbug channel. Today we got another episode here on the 2018 R1M. Now you can kind of already see I have it disassembled and stuff like that because I was doing some test fitting on some things like that obviously before I shot this video. But what we're going to go on ahead and talk about and do in this video is we're going to install the air filter. Now we have the Sprint P08 air filter and that is coming in so we're going to definitely be installing that air filter uh, on this bike and get this all buttoned up so that we can obviously get this thing ready for the dyno tune so we're going to go ahead and install this quick air filter you obviously already saw the beautiful brock's performance exhaust this is the three-quarter titanium uh system from brock's performance and uh thank you very much brock davidson if you're watching this again i know you watched some of the last videos but thank you again for also uh hooking me up with this fantastic exhaust it sounds great it looks great and i truly do love it so thank you very much and i can't wait to get it up open and nonetheless hear it on the dyno and you guys already seen and heard it shoots some nice flames some fireball some choop 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 absolutely so and i'm sure it's even going to shoot some bigger ones when we're on the street doing some racing as well on the dyno getting this bad girl all tuned up suited up booted up ready to roll getting pretty bad for a yamaha so um because i have this all pretty much situated so let's go ahead and uh speed this up here real quick let's do a quick boop, boop. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I have just like have a rag here because I just don't want any leakage or any spillage or anything coming down. But pretty straightforward for the ones that obviously haven't seen the inner sides and the inner workings of what Yamaha has done. Take a peek. Peeked out? Okay, good. All right. So obviously, small little battery. I think the battery in my Grom is bigger, but that's kind of cool. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, here we got our ABS module. Of course, our... Uh, uh, frame here subframe and of course our suspension fuel injectors secondary injectors air box and such like that and then of course inside we have our velocity stacks and then of course where our air filter would go air filter has already been taken out through that pup or uh, through that mama jamma away and of course when the new one comes in which should be here any second which obviously for the sake of tv everything comes in instantaneous so when it comes in we're going to go ahead and button that back up screw all 10 screws back here on this air box button everything up get everything situated connect our vent lines connect our uh, fuel lines and of course everything else and then uh get this thing ready to go to the dyno so that's going to be phase two of this video so let's kick this joker and get it rolling Yo, what it is everybody thanks for tuning back in here to another episode here on the speed bug channel Today we got another episode here, part three, coming up here. Before we get to the dyno, because I can't have the bike looking like this before it goes to the dyno, because what, the new mods we're about to install, it's gonna add this sucker about a thousand horsepower. But first and foremost, let me give you a big shout out to my buddy Doe. Thank you very much for the t-shirt. Fantastic, feeling good, looking good, ready to roll. So, John, just playing, ain't no thousand horsepower. But something I wanted to talk to you about, obviously, so obviously based on, depending on when I film this video or such, the obviously the air filter is not in the bike yet, but that's okay, no big deal. So, jumping on along, that's just the air filter, you already seen everything go back together. So we obviously have to get rid of these wonderful mirrors, and we do have those mirrors. We're going to keep the mirrors, just in case we ever want them again, but we're not going to use them, because we have our wonderful mirror block offs here now i went ahead and got these uh here from driven and they're going to obviously match the bike fantastic so make them black we got a little hole to plug obviously the wires and everything well it works very well so these are driven uh block off plates uh for the mirrors and we're going to obviously get these taken off here to get these taken off very straightforward you got a couple acorn nuts right underneath there let me go ahead and get a flashlight for you So we have a couple acorn nuts right there 
and uh, they should pretty much just obviously unscrew but we still have some wiring and stuff that goes down into the uh, uh, into the uh, into the plastic fairings that, that we do have to make sure that we attack and uh, obviously tuck underneath there because we don't want it to obviously flap around the second mod fantastic mod that we are going to do to this motorcycle here today is we're going to change out these this windscreen for a all black one see that baby just like snow white just like the black snow white so let's go ahead and unbox this unwrap it excuse me Very nice, very nice windscreen. Now, some people are gonna ask, so I say, hey, well, that's kind of like a useless windscreen or a stupid mod. Why would you do that? It's black, you can't see through it. Well, I like the darked out black look. Again, this is my motorcycle, not yours. I'm sharing this with you, and if you don't like it, maybe you don't wanna put it on your bike. But, if there is something that you recommend and I would like to see, absolutely, I maybe also take it into, um, into consideration but for this application I'm going to use this one now when I go racing or put it on the track or anything like that I may swap it out for something a little bit more clear and something that's not as tinted such as some like this one here or maybe even the BMW one here that you've also seen on a quick build series of my buddy's bike here so but other than that it's gonna be better I, for, for me than this clear windshield that I just don't really care for. So let's obviously start getting some of this stuff here taken off. Basic hand tools, obviously some Torx bits and some obviously looks like some eight or 10 millimeter uh, acorn nuts and those mirrors should fall right out. So let's keep rolling. Perfect, perfect. straightforward let me commence here on this we obviously have one small allen screw that goes right here we obviously have a push pin body clip plastic rivet and then of course here it bolts to the front part of the frame so as you can see here where this piece goes here it'll go over then we will obviously have our beautiful r1 block offs so let's get these installed First, let's clean this up a little bit so we can get some of this markings off. We have our block off plate with our studs in here. Nice piece of billet aluminum. Drop that sucker right in there. And it fits like a glove. As you can see, the studs come through. We'll bolt the two acorn nuts to the back here. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but you guys kind of get the picture. Just go in there and then there's a small little cap that these come with a little beauty cap that covers the electrical hole and that covers that right there like so so that's all buttoned up so we don't have a hole there so it actually looks really well so let's button take this up and get it buttoned up here on the other side perfect Obviously see 
everything is all in place. So your block offs work well, and we're gonna go ahead and obviously get this windshield off. So let's start with this one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I actually decided to put the mirror block offs in first, and before you can do so, and then me trying to put the windshield in, realize that you have to take those off because all this is actually attached, very similar to how the Ducati is, and you have to be able to lift this up, obviously, a little bit without any of the, obviously, the carbon cracking. So, and now that I have the old windshield out, now it's time to put the new one in. But if we have to transfer over these rubber grommets, for our screws to set in and we will do so with that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the finished product. Mirror block off, black double bubble windscreen. Well, it's a little bit see-through, but for the most part, it's pretty black. You really can't see through it. It's designed to block all the light. That's gonna wrap up this part of the R1M build. Stay tuned for the next part. Let's move on. We'll get this all buttoned up and get it ready here to go to the dyno. But that's going to wrap it up here for today's episode. Again, if you guys like what you saw, Facebook, Instagram, at the Speedbug. Same name here as YouTube for future updates. And tune in to the next episode here on the Speedbug channel for the next part of the R1. Thanks, guys. Deuces.